they are an important element of elasmobranch diversity. They're perfectly adapted to life on the seabed, lying often covered in sand and shingle, um, hidden below, below the surface. And they're also oviparous, they lay eggs. And those eggs allow us to engage the public through citizen science in the fantastic diversity that we have around our coast. Skates and reefs are important for me because they are my main study object here at ILFO. Um, I do experiments with them to determine how long they survive after catch and discarding. Yeah, they have a specific lifestyle. They're very sensitive animals as well, more sensitive, I would say, than other commercial species. That makes them interesting to, to study. Since a young age, I've been intrigued by uh, elasmobranchs, uh, and I really developed my study to be able to study elasmobranchs. So uh, now as a fisheries biologist, I was able to work for the fishing industry where I saw how the fisheries dealt with uh, rays and now I can really study them. And uh, I think they're a very important part of the ecosystem and also part of the catch in the industry. They're very good to eat. Some say they're the best fish in the sea. And, but of course, they're also very important for biodiversity. They uh, perform an important role in the ecosystem and uh, we certainly couldn't do without them. Uh, they've become a more important species over the last 10 years, ever since we've um, lost the cod fishery. The cod fishery has um, disappeared, really, and um, it's become more important that we catch skates and rays. It's a major species in the area and extremely plentiful. And skates and rays are a part of the ecosystem and they're also uh, quite an important fishery. And we try to get a bit of a balance between protecting the environment and allowing the fishermen to, to catch fish. The current regulations and way of managing fisheries is based on uh, stocks which are very fecund. They, they produce millions of eggs, species like skates, and rays only produce a few eggs. The way of managing populations is totally different. There's a lot that could be done to improve the management of skates and rays. Oog is in beide gevallen een heel belangrijke bijvangst. Dus als we kijken wat dat de vangsten zijn, dan 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 komt dat toch ongeveer op de derde plaats wat wat omzet betreft voor voor onze sector. Het is Toch ongeveer 3, 2, 3 of 4 percent van je, van je opbrengt, zeg maar, van je bezoming. Maar over het algemeen dan, uh, ga je ze misvissen, want er uh, is eigenlijk wel veel rog. Il y a eu en même temps une limitation considérable des possibilités de pêche sur cette espèce. Il y a donc un décalage important entre le ressenti des professionnels et ce que la réglementation PAC et COTA nous impose. On dit toujours qu'il y a de moins en moins de poissons, mais il y en a de plus en plus. Et on n'a pas le droit de le pêcher parce qu'on n'a pas les coteaux. Actuellement, on fait le projet Sumaris, qui consiste à ramener les raies vivantes pour l'exemption de survie dans la raie bouclée et la raie lisse, d'adapter les coteaux en fonction de certaines espèces. Le plus grand problème que nous avons autour du UK est discarding, there should be some regulations put into place on the catching of all pressure stock species. I think the the maatregelen die er zijn die zijn wel goed, vooral de lengtebepalingen en daar gaat dan natuurlijk ook over de prijsval die je zou krijgen, want ze zijn in principe al niet veel waard. En als je dan ook nog te klein aan zou voeren, en geef ze maar de kans om groter te worden en dat er misschien toch weer ja een markt voor komt dat het iets beter wordt allemaal weer. Het quotasysteem of de tak in feite, de total able catch is één bepaalde tak voor, voor allerlei soorten samen. En dus is een, een, een beperking van de tak die er nu bestaat, doordat er een aantal soorten uh, in die gemengde tak er zijn die het, uh, die het niet goed doen, is heel nadelig voor ons en uh, moet er, uh, kan, er, kan er weinig beheerd worden. I think um, the three most important ones are also the ones that were voted as the most popular ones during the Somaris meeting in Canterbury. So first of all, change the tuck. Secondly, avoidance of certain uh, nursery and spawning areas. And the third one is minimum size restrictions per species. I think that's a very difficult question because you're dealing with biology, but you're also dealing with socioeconomic sides. Uh, 
And how to improve, I think uh, we should maybe look at, for example, looking at minimum landing sizes or, for example, looking at how sensitive species and the less sensitive species can be split. What we need to do is stop discarding. Now, this can be done very simply by technical measures and effort control. Restricting the amount of gear that they actually put in the water and for the amount of hours per year that they put that gear in the water. But in return, allowing them to keep everything they catch. C'est vraiment très important pour nous de conserver l'exemption de survie. Bruxelles, il met un quota global en sud mer du Nord et Manchester parce qu'on n'a que de la bouclée et de la rénice. Donc il y a un gros décalage entre les possibilités de pêche et le stock qu'on nous attribue. Il va falloir que nous parvenions à valoriser la database qui va être établie donc avec les États membres partenaires du projet. L'objectif est de réaliser un atlas de ces espèces-là sur les zones qui nous concernent pour avoir une bonne représentation de ces espèces, pour permettre d'optimiser les quotas et de les individualiser par espèce et par taille. For our local area, then it would be really good if we could have some uh, spatial management to protect where there's juveniles or where they're laying eggs. And currently, we're doing some research, and then uh, we can look at protecting those really vulnerable life stages. The better data that we can secure for skates and rays, the more appropriate the management. Improved spatial, temporal, even seasonal scales will really help deliver a more sustainable future for these species. And the skates and rays move around quite a lot inside and outside. It would be good to have something more kind of specific within our area to, to, to protect them and make sure that they're being managed. The first thing would be to uh, have a TAC that's differentiated between the different species. This makes it difficult to manage particular species. The second thing would be to build an understanding of the biology and the ecosystem and the way in which the animals live within that ecosystem, such as where they breed, where they grow, where the, they lay their eggs. And to do that, we need to enlist the help of fishermen, scientists, conservationists, to try and build up that picture. And once we've done that, we can say we're looking at an ecosystem approach to the fisheries and the management of them. However, there are improvements. We're now seeing species-specific recording, uh, avoidance of the larger, more vulnerable species, and an increased emphasis on regional management. And we try also to form the young fishers to recognize the types of rays et les rejeter vivantes. De kennis natuurlijk van de, van de roggenvisserij, de kennis van de rogzaal van de soort uh, voor, uh, voor reders, voor, uh, voor schippers, voor, uh, voor bemanningsleden kan ook heel wat uh, doen aan, het, uh, aan de duurzaamheid van, uh, van de roggenvisserij. Uh, vandaar dat Sumaris dan ook zo'n interessant project is om uh, te blijven volgen van, van onze kant. Ja.